uh, the ballot box is sacred, that uh, men have died in order to give you freedom, and the most important freedom of all is the freedom to vote, and that if you don't vote, you're abrogating your citizenship, and blah, blah, blah. And so the people of uh, the state of Arizona, just as we did, by the way, in California many years ago, we voted for Prop 187, which would have denied uh, legal, uh, excuse me, schooling and medical care for the children of illegal aliens. We voted for it. And one stinking, rotten ACLU judge, uh, I think I still remember her name. I don't remember her name. Uh, said drop dead to 6 million people in the state of California. As a result, we are now bankrupt today. The state is bankrupt primarily because the illegal aliens have sucked us bri- dry like locusts. You know, you are lied to on such a regular basis that you don't even understand what's going on. Illegal immigrants don't pay federal income taxes. And those who do pay federal income taxes, okay, get the money back when they file tax returns. Many illegals are also claiming tax credits, which result in payments from the U.S. Treasury. Criminal aliens account for over 29% of prisoners in Federal Bureau of Prisons facilities. Let's stop at that figure again. Criminal aliens account for over 29% of prisoners in Federal Bureau of Prisoners prison facilities, and they compose a higher share of all federal prison inmates. Now, let's pause at that. Do you have any idea what that costs? With an estimated cost of, what, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a prisoner? Do you know how much this is costing us? Do you have any idea what the cost of illegal immigration is? A new study was done about a month ago. Illegals cost U.S. taxpayers about $113 billion a year at the federal, state, and local level. About $84 billion are absorbed by state and local governments. They're all bankrupt. So like locusts, who have come across the border, and I'm sorry to put it in those terms, but there are costs, there are social costs. Do you understand there are social costs to social actions? Well, the social cost of turning the other way and turning the other cheek to illegal aliens coming into this country and breaking our laws are such that we have a broken society. So you have one state that says enough is enough, we can't take the gangs, we can't take the shooting of the police. They're killing our cops. They're overrunning the ranches. Arizona had to give up a good piece of a national park because of the drug dealing. And the federal government takes the side of the foreign invaders? Do you have any idea what you're seeing in front of your eyes? So I'm asking you, how do you feel today when you wake up and realize you've lost America under Obama? This tells you clearly that your vote has no meaning whatsoever. None whatsoever. Your vote has no meaning. It's meaningless. They have said to you, drop dead, don't even bother to vote. But I'll tell you whose vote they want. They want the illegal aliens vote, don't they? That's who they want to vote. They want the... Now, I've made this prediction before, and I'll make it again on this show right now, before it's copied tomorrow by someone else. I'll say it again and again and again. Obama's greatest dream is to eliminate term limits for the presidency, which were only enacted, by the way, after FDR had served three and a half terms before he died of polio for a 12, 14 years. He would have been a president for 50 years if there, was no, if, there, if there were no term limits put in after that. So after that term limit said you could only be president for two terms, four, four, eight. Eight years. That should be enough for anyone, right? Well, not to a man like Obama. Obama is a young man. He's a healthy man, and we wish him a long life. Obama would like to be president for life because he has such faith in his vision. And considering he spends about half of his time on the golf course, when you think about it, to him, four years is really only like two years. And so to him, eight years would be only like four years. So in his mind, another eight years would only be the equivalent of an eight-year term because he spends half of it on the golf course, if you understand. Sal in New York, W-O-R, how do you feel today? How you doing, uh, Michael? I'm just, I'm very, I'm very annoyed at what's going on. I am very, I was being uh, facetious. I, my All right, so you feel upset because you don't like the idea that one judge can wipe out the votes of millions of people who said no to the illegals. Is that it? I, right. My All family. right, next person, next person. Let's go across the country. Let's go to San Diego. We have uh, one from Arizona. Uh, 
Let's go to Arizona. Bruno in Arizona, how do you feel today? Go ahead, please. Michael, I'm going to tell you, I believe this from the tip of my head to the bottom of my shoes. If this was cut and dried, A, I live out here in Kingman, Arizona, and I can't, I can't elaborate anymore on what you've already said on that. But I believe that she's going to be appointed uh, one of the appointments for the next Supreme Court position. You can guarantee that because Beta Ginsburg, you know, she's not going to hang on her much longer as far as being in that position. I already yeah. believe that. Yeah, Ruth Beta Ginsburg is hanging on by a by a by a hair. Yeah, and Ruth Beta Ginsburg, you know, was a former chief counsel for the ACLU. You know that, don't you? I know that completely. And she never should have been admitted to the Supreme Court. She is single-handedly taking a wrecking taking a wrecking ball to the jurisprudence of this country. She has tried to introduce foreign law at every turn. Uh, but let's put Ruth Bader Ginsburg aside. This one is Ruth Bader Ginsburg Jr. This is Ruth Bader Ginsburg Jr. It's the ACLU has their handprints all over this one, Bruno. You know that. I got a buddy of mine who's a he's a sheriff deputy Maricopa County. I'm not going to give his name, of course, but he was telling me that they were busting these people in. They come from all kinds of states. The uh, the uh, Obama bots and the whole nine yards on the buses and stuff. And one other quick thing: John Kyle is this a mirror of uh, McCain? I'm going to tell you, I've known that. For yeah, years. he's a, is is John Kyle another um, another uh, rhino? Oh yeah, Republican in name. Yeah. Well, you say Republican in name only. That doesn't mean anything because. Republican as a name means liberal. It doesn't mean conservative. It used to mean conservative. And a conservative. Thank you. By the way, coming up at the turn of the hours, Cochise County uh, Sheriff Larry Deaver. He is one of the individuals who knows more about this than uh, you would uh, when you than you would imagine. San Diego, Steve. Quickly, what's on your mind, Michael? I am so disgusted with everyone from our president. To this judge, who I don't even care to even know her name, uh, to the, everyone else that's fighting this, that I, I, I'm, I'm almost to a point, well, not almost, I am, where I say, why don't we just give them Phoenix and Tucson and Arizona and let them bring the crime south of the border, which they've already done to some degree, let them bring the head chopping up drug cartel murderers into our country and let them have it. And we'll use it as a fishbowl for the rest of the 49 states in America that don't want what we're about to get. Mm-hmm. 